Good morning, students. Welcome to Class Five Mathematics. Today we are going to learn different types of triangle. Sudip sir already introduced triangle and different types of triangle based on its sides. It is already done. Today we are going to learn. Different types of triangle based on its angles. Based on angles. So, angles, there are different kinds of angles you have already learned acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, reflex angle, complete angle. Like the acute angle whose measure is less than 90 degree. Greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. That is called acute angle. Right angle. The angle whose measure is equal to 90 degree. And obtuse angle. The angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree. But less than 180 degree. That is called obtuse angle. Now based on angles, there are three types of triangle. Number one, acute angled triangle. Acute angled triangle. Everyone write the definition in your copy. What is acute angle triangle? A triangle is called acute angle if all its angles are acute, that is less than 90 degree. So, a triangle is called acute if all its angles if all its angles are acute so that is called acute angled triangle now what is the shape of this triangle this type of triangle if I want to draw an acute angle triangle looks like this. Now you can see here are A, B, C. Angle A, angle B, angle C. All its measures less than 90 degrees. So this type of triangle is called acute angled triangle. So a triangle is called acute angle. Acute if all its angles. Triangle is called acute angle. If all its angles are acute. Now come to the next point. Right angled triangle. Right angled Triangle. What is right angle triangle? A triangle is called right angle if it has an angle of measure 90 degree. A triangle is called right angle if it has an angle of measure 90 degree. A triangle is called right angled if it has an angle of measure 90 degree. So what is the shape of this triangle? 
वन एंगल शुड बी नाइन्टी डिग्री हेयर दिस एंगल इफ आई डी नोट इट ए बी सी नाउ यू कैन सी एंगल बी इज नाइन्टी डिग्री सो ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो ए ट्राइंगल इज कॉल्ड राइट एंगल इफ इट हैज एन एंगल ऑफ मेजर नाइन्टी डिग्री नेक्स्ट नंबर थ्री ऑक्यूज एंगल ट्राइंगल A triangle is called obtuse angle if it has one obtuse angle. If it has one obtuse angle, so you can see in this diagram in this triangle ABC, angle B is obtuse angle. That is, measure of angle B is greater than ninety degree but less than one hundred eighty degree. so triangle abc is obtuse angled triangle so based on angles there are three categories of or three types of triangle number 1 acute angle triangle the triangle whose all angles are acute number 2 right angled triangle a triangle whose one angle is measure of one angle is 90 degree and number 3 obtuse angle triangle a triangle is called obtuse angle if it has one obtuse angle now come to the next point angle sum property of triangle now next is angle sum property of a triangle The sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. It is very important. Everyone keep in mind. The sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. For any kind of triangle, for any types of triangle. The sum of three angles of a triangle is always equals to one hundred eighty degree. How can I test it? Just look at this activity. Here I have taken one triangle. Its three angles are: it is angle one, it is angle two, it is angle three. now i am cutting this three angles of the from the triangle angle 1 angle two. so angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 now take a line straight line now if i want to plot the three angles it is look like this it is angle 1 it is angle 2 it is angle 3 now you can see the three angles of a triangle make makes a straight line so as we know the straight line what is the angle of it 180 degree so sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree everyone can try and prove it in home and in yourself just take a triangle make cut it three angles and by arranging it you will get a line which is 
get an angle which is equals to 180 degree. So it is the angle sum property of a triangle. Now we have to note some points and this we have to keep it in mind. Note number one. A triangle cannot have a triangle cannot have more than more than one obtuse angle obtuse angle a triangle cannot have more than one obtuse angle. Why? Suppose we are taking two angles. Suppose one is seven, one is 110 degree, another one is 95 degree. Both are obtuse angle. Now if you take a sum of this, and suppose third angle is acute angle, 30 degree. So, 110 degree plus 95 degree plus 30 degree, this one equals to 235 degree, which contradict the property, angle sum property of triangle. That is the sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So, a triangle cannot have more than one obtuse angle. Next, second point, a triangle cannot have more than one right angle. A triangle cannot have more than one right angle because suppose if there is two, tri two right angles, so sum of two angles will be 180 degree. What is the third angle? So it also contradicts the angle sum property of triangle. So a triangle cannot have more than one right angle. So these two points you have to keep it in mind. First one. A triangle cannot have more than one obtuse angle. Number two, a triangle cannot have more than one right angle. Now what is the application of angle sum property of triangle? You can see, here is an example I have taken. In triangle ABC, angle A 55 degree, angle B 45 degree. Then find angle C. So, angle, sum of angle A and B, angle A plus angle B equals to 55 degree plus 45 degree, which is equals to 100 degree. So, what is angle C? As we know, the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. And here sum of two angles A and B is 100 degree. So what is angle C? 180 degree minus 100 degree that equals to 80 degree. 80 degree is the sum uh, measure of angle C. In this way we can apply the angle sum property of triangle. Another way, suppose three angles are given which is 90 degree. 60 degree, 30 degree. We have to test it. Is it possible to construct a triangle with these angles? So how can we test it? Just add these three angles. 90 degree plus 60 degree plus 30 degree. Which is equals to 180 degree. So as we know the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So it is possible to construct a triangle with the
given angles. But suppose the angle, if the angles are suppose 45 degree, 75 degree, and suppose 90 degree. Now you test it. 45 plus 75 degree plus 90 degree. 45 plus 75, 120 plus 90, that is 280 degree. Which contradict the angle sum property. So we cannot construct a triangle with the given angles. Now we have to do some homework. Number one, find the measure of the angle A in each of the following figure. Number A, B, C, D. Four figures are given. In each figure, angle B and angle C have, are given. You have to find out measure of angle A. Next, number two. In triangle ABC, if number A, angle A 45 degree, angle B 65 degree, then find angle C. Number B, angle BAC. Here BAC means A angle. BAC equals to 120 degree, angle ABC equals to 30 degree, then find angle BCA. Next number C, angle A equals to angle C equals to 75 degree, then find angle B. Number D, angle A equals to angle B and angle C equals to 90 degree, then find angle A and angle B. Number E, Angle A equals to angle B equals to angle C. Then find the angles of the triangle. Next, number 3. In which of the following cases? A triangle possible with the given group of angles. Number A. 77 degree, 84 degree, 20 degree. Number B. 59 degree, 60 degree, 61 degree. Number C. 135 degree, 22 degree, 22 degree. Number D, 73 degree, 73 degree, 33 degree. Number E, 54 degree, 54 degree, 72 degree. 